Here with Mike Rella, one of the important persons in Luis Colasso's corner, the Cutman. How are you? Good. How's everything today? I'm doing good. I know you guys are going right now and you know getting ready for you know an important fight for you know both fighters. I would say you know how are you guys feeling about this match? We're trained. Luis trained hard. We're ready. We're fighting a real guy, Samuel Vargas. He's a tough guy, and uh, we're ready to fight. I know Luis you guys ready. been, you know, putting a lot of work in all these gyms. You know that you know we have a, other coaches that they've been helping. You know, Louis. I know you guys probably, you know, your goal right now is to win this fight, and later on is to get a world title shot if it's possible that anybody can see it. Yes, Louis looking forward, but we're taking this fight and we're worried about the next fight later on. We need to win this. And Louis very concentrated on this fight and we're not looking beyond this. It's great to hear that from your corner and see, you know, what, uh, you know, eventually, you know, pass this test first and later on you guys will talk about, you know, for the next, you know, fight, whatever comes, you know, in Louis' career. What the weight division we just so yesterday, Mikey Garcia going against Errol Spence. What can you say? What's your reaction of this fight? Well, I think Garcia did real well considering the weight division. The weight is, is unreal. It's, uh, you know, when a fighter is that much heavier, it's really hard to, uh, to adjust because every time you get hit, it hurts. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, in one point I saw Mikey was like kind of going backwards and a lot of people told you know that probably he was gonna get knocked down but hey look at what he did he stood you know like holding it into you know I think the round finish and went back in the corner trying to you know I guess breathe a little bit and coming back again Mikey did exceptionally well he hung in there with the bigger fighter they always say a big big small a big big man will always be the big a small small guy yes um, there's you know things that a lot of people sometimes they talk about you know right now Mikey did something and you know against Errol I know Louis went you know with Errol Spence you know one time and and I believe like probably if Louis wins this fight hey he probably will face Errol Spence what can you say do you agree or maybe disagree with uh, some people, or mo not some people, most people, you know, call it Spence that he's the boogeyman that nobody wants to, you know, fight. Well, I mean, you watch out for your fighter. If you don't have to fight a guy like Spence, you, you wouldn't. You would avoid it. But uh, if you have to, you have to. Because I'm not sure in the situations of everybody else. I agree, you know, that this is going to be so, um, you know, an important fight, you know, 2019 and welterweight division is moving, you know, stronger. I think, you know, way better, you know, than in the past. I mean, in the past there were, you know, fighters in the welterweight division, but I think it's so stacked right now. And we will definitely see, you know, what's next in this couple fights. And 